Okay, open the chest. Guys, look at that. Ascendant Steel Bone Sword. Okay, so I'm gonna take that out right now, and we're gonna go look right now to see what level that's unlocked at. That's actually a great first item to get out of a chest, just to show you guys how crazy this is. Welcome everyone back to Pixar, guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can get endgame gear, high-end gear, at level 1 on officials, like the minute you join the server. You guys can get level 70 plus gear in just a matter of minutes. Not really sure why this is a game. But if you guys are keeping up with my different series on Pixar currently, you guys will know that we're doing an official series. And in my first video, I'm walking around with, with the level 70 uh, chess piece that I got at level 5. So here's what you need to do. As you guys can see, we are in our character creation mode right now. Because that's, that's I thought this would be like the best place to actually start to show you guys this. Now, we need to get as close as we can to this zone right here, Doomlands. Which is like the biggest, scariest zone there is, biome there is in this game. Which is obviously like this dark color up here. So what you guys want to do is you want to spawn as close as possible as you can to this dark area, or that biome itself. Which I think there actually is a spawn up there for that one. Five? Hey, perfect. Look at that. Here we go, guys. Level one, spawning in. Alright, so, if we look at our opener map, our zone is actually pretty much all around us. It's over there, it's over here. The zone we want is Doomlands, which I said, like I said, it's the most aggressive bad zone in the game if you if you go here plan on dying a lot in this zone guys you can expect to see golems minotaurs uh lava golems and rock elementals along with sometimes spiders and like the three-headed hellhound or uh lava hound whatever it's called it's called one of the two okay shift w to run i know i'm doing that right now game why are you telling me to do that when i know how to do it because i'm doing it right now okay so here's what you have to do and this is actually a Oh, this is going to be perfect, guys. This is actually going to be really, really good. Okay. So, basically, Minotaurs, Cyclopses, and Lava Golems will fight each other, okay? And this is what you want. Not only can you bet to see bet with your friend to see which one's actually going to win, but sometimes when these creatures die, they drop chests. And they drop some good stuff, let me tell you. Okay, there's actually there's actually one fighting right now as you guys can see there's a cyclops and a minotaur Okay, there's actually about to be three cyclopses and a minotaur fighting which is totally unfair numbers But that's okay because we want a chest So we're gonna, to, we're gonna let that cyclops kill it and then we are going to go over there for ourselves And see if we cannot get the loot from it if it drops a chest It's not guaranteed that it will drop a chest But we're gonna we're gonna do this until I get something good and the chests are not always guaranteed to be crazy armor or anything like that it just so happened, my first two chests I picked up on officials, I got a steel bone plate chest piece or something like that, which is unlocked at level 70. And then I got a journeyman shield. Okay. Oh, he did drop a chest. He did. Okay, this is good. We open the chest. Guys, look at that. Ascendant steel bone sword. Okay, so I'm going to take that out right now, and we're going to go look right now to see what level that's unlocked at. That's actually a great first item to get out of a chest, just to show you guys how crazy this is. And I know I'm in creative mode, but we were actually doing this on officials, which you guys will see in a future video as well. But if I come back over here, let's go to engrams, and let's go to steel, just in general. Let's just type in steel. And I think it's under this one. No, is it this one? Okay, uh, steel bone sword. Level 70 is what you when you unlock that. I currently have not even a primitive one. I have an ascendant one at level two. Oh, okay, okay, we're getting chased. We're getting chased. Oh, he won't hit me, but that's okay. I think, I think the minotaur is gonna fight him. The minotaur is fighting him right now. So all we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna spawn back in that rally point because it's right on top of it. And that's why I said you want to try to find one where you can spawn right on top of it like that, or have bed spawns or something. And we're just gonna head back towards our body. Yep, actually, I can see my death beacon right now. As you guys can see, we have the sword, too. Look at this. Is that thing crazy looking? Look how good that looks. It's so cool. And like I said, this 100% works on official servers currently. You guys will see me in my first video, which actually goes live, live later tonight for the officials. You guys will see that I'm wearing a steel bone plate chess piece, which is unlocked at level 70. I'm like level 5 when I get it. And I also got a Draymond wooden shield from doing this, too, on officials. I actually had a trimate that got 80, 86 armored uh, steel plate legs from doing this as well, and he was like level 12 at the time. Okay, so the fire elemental did die. I don't. Ooh, I don't see a chest over there though. Okay, these little helpful guides need to, need to stop popping up. As you guys can see over there, I don't see a chest, but I can see it his body. I'm gonna follow these guys because if they can kill each other, that's gonna be great. 
They're all pretty bloody. These, these Minotaurs over here might actually hop in on the action here. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna backspace a little bit here. You know, I gotta try to get that thumbnail right now. Oh, we got one dead. We got one dead. Cyclops is down. I don't see a chest, though. That's okay. Like I said, it's not geared. Oh, that's a chest. That's a chest. That's, that's a ch that has to be a chest drop. Is it? Is it one? Oh, it is. <gasps> I tried to store a rock golem, though. So I am noticing that... Oh, there we go. The creative mode is acting a little funky currently. Um, sometimes the dials are just not aggroing. But on officials, they will 100% aggro too every time they see you. So just keep that in mind. But all you guys have to do is you just have to drag them to fight each other like so. And now you guys take your bets. Who do you guys think is going to win? Let me know down below in the comment section. Is it going to be the big, bad, one-eyed Cyclops? Or the mutant, cow, bull, kangaroo tail looking thingy? Guys, look at this. This is a perfect thumbnail, though. Wait a minute. This is... Yeah, this is... This is it. That's my thumbnail, boys. Alright, we're gonna step away, though. Just, just in case. I don't wanna get too close. And the thing is, like, if you die, it doesn't even matter. Because if, if you can get this where you have a spawn zone in front of you, do you drop a chest? It doesn't look like it. If you get to where they have a spawn zone in front of you, you can just keep, literally just keep spawning here over and over and over. Over! Oh, run! I know he's chasing. I can hear his big hooves. These fire golems, by the way, are insane. They can they can sometimes fight a few at once. There we go. Oh, and there's a cyclops back there fighting too. Now this is this is good right here. You know this might this might be a better this actually might be a better thumbnail. I mean let me tell you. So our lava golem lost. He did not get anything, or he didn't drop a chest anyway. We're dragging this other Minotaur to this Cyclops. Hopefully, this, if the Cyclops can get a double kill, that's going to be great. Because that's going to just give us better odds. Oh, no! Why was he chasing me? That's okay. That's all right. That, that doesn't matter. Remember, it doesn't matter. Because if you get the spawn zone, like we have... We, this, this is lucky, by the way, because these maps are randomly generated. And this was the first test server I actually threw up. And it's happened to work like this, so... Kudos to myself. I'm probably gonna keep this test server forever now because of this zone. Like I said, you can just keep spawning here. You can, if you need to, if you don't have this type of situation where there's not a spawn point on top of it, what do you do? All you gotta do is make beds or sleeping bags or bring Terras over something and just drag them around. If, if you can, I mean, if you're at the point of getting Terras, that's what I'm saying. Because you, you can do this at any level, and the higher the level, the easier it is to do by far. I want to try to get some of the steel plating I got on officials though, so you guys can just check that out and see it. Yeah, Cyclops is about to either kill him or die. There's a lot of Minotaurs over here currently, though. Oh, there is a chest. I, I can see it. Okay, we're gonna have to... Is he running away? He is running away. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's check this chest out. Let's see what we get. Concentrated fruit juice. I don't know what that does. I right, guess we have a fire elemental out here fighting currently. We'll see how this goes. Let me back up. Let me back up. See, the thing is, if they walk outside the border, that's a problem. Because then, obviously, you can't get to them. So, I'm going to be pretty mad if that Minotaur and Cyclops fight outside the border. And I can't get a chest if they drop one. Oh, we have another chest. Another chest is dropped. Okay, all right. Here we go. We're going to go in for it. Apprentice Steel Bone Gloves. 56 armor. Okay, that's actually... That's that's a good thing that I, I was... That's why I was wanting to get off this. Guys, I've only gotten, like, four or five chests, by the way. All right, so if we go here really quickly, we can look... So, Apprentice Steel Bone Gloves. We go to Engrams and we go back to Industrial and go to Steel. Steel Bone Gloves, level 70. It's a level 70 item I just got at level, what am I now, three? Like, think about that for a minute. That's actually crazy. Here we go, all right, we got some fire. Oh, we got Cyclops over here too and Fire Golems. This is good, this is really good. Maybe, maybe they'll fight. Maybe we can get someone to fight. Wait, there it goes, there it goes. Cyclops is going, he's going in. Oh, he's going in. Oh, look at this spin attack, though. Oh, what in the world is that? The random spin attack, though. Let's talk about that for a minute. He pulled out, he pulled, he pulled out a power move right there. He's not taking anything. He's not giving up. He wants it. Who do you guys think is going to win? I think the Minotaur is going to win, to be honest with you. But we will see. Maybe. I feel like they're both bleeding pretty much equally at the moment. Uh, it's, it, it actually is pretty hard to tell. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here comes a special ability again. Oh, Cyclops is dead. He's 100% going to die. The Cyclops doesn't seem to have a special power move like that, but uh, apparently the Minotaurs do. Oh! Backup has arrived! Where'd he come from? Oh, he killed one. There, There is a chest drop. I can see it. Oh, if we get two chest drops, that's gonna be just awesome. 
Okay, so we're gonna try to grab this chest while those two are still fighting. Primitive Steel Sword. I think that's level 70 as well. It actually might be 65, but that's still that's still a really high-end tier uh, item to get at level 5. Do we have a chest drop? I don't see one. It's, oh, there's a, oh, there's one. There's one. Shotgun ammo. Okay, what a what a bad thing. It's not guaranteed to be good every time. I don't know why the fire golem's not going in on this, but the minotaur should get this kill pretty easily. And after this one, guys, if there's a chest drop or if there's not, we're going to end the video here. I'm trying to keep it as short as I possibly can. But basically, this is like a really good way to get really good gear on officials right now at low levels. You, like, you can, like, when PvP is actually a thing, which hopefully they actually make it a thing, you don't have to wait the entire week to actually kill someone. Imagine going to a PvP server, getting this type of gear at level 1, and being able to just roll over anyone you come across because everyone's going to have, like, a wooden spear and cloth armor. You're going to be wearing, wearing level 70 armor. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a chest. So everyone, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section of this. It's a pretty neat thing. This will definitely give some people an advantage when it comes to servers. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see all of you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, yeah.